Okay, quickly back again because I just realized something I want to also mention. What I've done is I've just grabbed a black marker and I've made it a rough mark around where I want it to end. At the end, you're going to pop the balloon, so it's not going to make any difference if you've written on the balloon. Um, that way I know roughly how far down I want to stop because, you know, I'm going to be turning the balloon and the, the bottom's not always going to be at the bottom. The bottom could be over here, over here at some stage. Okay, see you in the next one. Okay, I'm back. I just wanted to quickly show you how I've gone so far. This bit here is drying at the moment, so I don't want to touch that. Goes right round. Hope you can see that. Um, I keep having to get more and more pieces out. It's using more than I thought it would. Um, but yeah, I'm just going down like that to the line, filling in somewhere. I need a bit of extra stay now because the pieces do slide. I am when I have two hands, I'm just holding that like lightly pushing them so it when it when it holds it's going to hold in spot and not slide as you can see these ones have done now the the edges obviously are going to be different because i'm going to do well i'm going to see how many layers i get out of the pieces i'm going to count these shortly and i'll see how many pieces i've used so far see you in the next okay i'm back I've now done all the way around. I may add actually some more there. So it's pretty much all the way around. Um, the edges obviously aren't going to be straight on the bowl once it's finished, but that's part of the whole point. Um, that black line was only a rough line to show me where it was, the roughly that I wanted to go up to. So my hand there... Oh, so, yeah, standard. And it's on a bit of an angle, so, because I'm, if I do it that way, so it's about, you know, it's nearly half my hand in size. Now, the black dots on there, that's honestly was just me counting the pieces. And at my first count, I was 116. And then my last lot that I did, at the last little video or section of this then that was 34 added on so yeah so now I'll wait till it obviously dries once I've popped the balloon I'll be able to get in with some more Mod Podge to seal any up any holes or any imperfections in the middle so I'm not too fussed about that at that point and this as you can see it clears it dries clear um yeah well, that's it for the moment and I've got a thousand pieces. I've used 150. So I got probably, a, you know, I might do about, I'll see how it goes at about maybe three, maybe four layers. I'm not too sure. Alrighty, see you on the next. Hi all, I'm back. I'm now just starting the second layer at the top. Now you'll notice where those gaps are in between the puzzle pieces of the first layer. Although they will be filled up with glue and that will dry clear, you want to now try and cover them with the other pieces. I'm still going for lightish, but I'm not overly fussed anymore. It's the first layer that I wanted to be lighter. So because I know there's a bit of a gap. Sorry. There. I try and fill that gap that was under there um, I really should bring out my tripod when I do this but I honestly still get very subconscious self-conscious doing these so actually I could I need to buy a hand a desktop one for my phone that way I can just record on my phone and not a problem um, so yeah, because I will, and also move them around a little bit, like you might find it fits better somewhere else, and that's fine, like you can, the, some of the pieces are generally different shapes and stuff like that, so you can 
like pick and choose you know the different different shapes depending on what the gap is you want so it's the same concept here um let it dry a little bit i'm not sure as i said i've never hadn't done this before so i um i don't know how it will still slip at, like the first layer obviously don't pop your balloon yet you want this, that to stay there throughout the whole process up until the time that you have finished all your gluing because that's what holds the shape of it um I did end up putting a couple of more pieces in here, so the total ended up being 152 pieces for the first layer. And you can see they're not slipping, they've dried enough. Um, even that section there, which was the last, yeah, sorry, they were the last couple. That one's like down a tiny bit, but it's sort of stuck firmly, so that, that'll be covered anyway. Yeah. On the next layer, I'm going to do the, the picture side out. So I wanted to do two layers to try and cover as much as I could. So I didn't get too much of the brown cardboard through from the next layer. So, yeah, it'll probably be two more layers after this one. So four layers in total, I'm thinking, so far. All right, see you on the next. Okay, I'm back. I've been doing my second layer as you can see but the one thing I'm realizing now um, is because the pieces are sort of a thicker cardboard they're sticking up they're not sitting down so it's a little bit more difficult obviously this is going to be easier with the th puzzle pieces that are thinner so I may end up only doing three on this one. It'll just depend how it goes. I really don't know how it's going to go after this second coat. All right, I'll see you in the next one. Hey, I'm back. I've done about, uh, you know, qu over quarter of the second layer. I've added ones to the bottom just to even it out to get the layer to sit. So many things have gone through my head in regards to this one. The first one is you're going to get messy. Okay, I've got, you can see, I've got, you know, glue all over my hands. The other one is you're going to have to sometimes hold the piece into shape, I've found. Um, so, for instance, down here, I've just put these ones on. So, just holding it down with one finger. I've had my other hand at the back holding it. Um, the other one, make sure you, you, if you are holding the pieces down and there's glue on the piece, either do it with your nail or something, you know, like a end of a pen or something because your fingers may stick and then the piece is going to come up. So you've got to be careful of that. Um, thankfully the balloon, you know, moves slightly still, so you can mold some of the pieces some of the pieces, as you can see, they're not flat. Um, I did, I have started to wonder whether it is worth um, wetting the pieces slightly first or dampening them. Um, as I said, these ones are pretty thick pieces, as you can see. Um, and I'll just show you here, like I'm putting a bit of pressure on there and you know they're not really bending which makes it a bit harder to mold the other thing i've realized is when i have finally finished i'm gonna to have to try and maybe put a upside down pyramid type of flat on it um because unless i can sort of start to i might start be able to start to put that in at the top shortly but it's not it may not sit flat so you've got to be careful of that as well so yeah i'm as i said i'm about you know down to as over over quarter way done nearly halfway done if not very close to halfway of the second coat i'm not counting the pieces 
what I've been doing with the glue as well um, as you can see I've got my pot right close it's very close and I've got the mat down I've been getting little bits after I've put them on the first time I will get some and I will just poke it through you know dribble it on a little bit because that way and I'll do that in between these gaps of the new pieces that way it'll hold there'll be extra glue there starting starting to seal so there's extra um an extra base for it to hold on to um this stuff doesn't take too long to dry so it's not too bad um yeah i i'm sort of expecting i don't know what with this and this video is going to be way too long but i really don't care all right bye see you on the next okay i'm back I've now done the complete second layer. I'm not, I'm not too fussed about that little gap there because I'll probably end up going over that with one facing this way on the next layer. Um, my OCD kicks in a little bit, so it's, it is annoying me, but I'm trying to push past that. Um, yeah, don't worry about that glue. When that happens, I just get a bit of just because you're going to be popping the balloon anyway, so it's really not going to make a difference. Um, I'm not worried about what the color is anymore at the moment. The pieces have gotten wet with the glue, so they have sort of shaped a little bit more than what they were. Um, you can see there are still some up. Um, you know you can see it where is it there you know a little bits there and there are still some gaps and that's absolutely fine um as i said i'll try and fill them in later where i can again i'll go over that with picture facing this this way on the end all right on to the third layer see you on the hi everybody i'm back as you can see, I've done the first layer of the outside colour. At this point, it is very wet, and I really suggest waiting before you do this coat. Um, I didn't really wait for it all to dry properly. I was a little bit impatient. Um, but this one I'm going to leave overnight to completely dry. Um, see, I've gone all the way around. Um yeah, some of it is sticking all right. Some of the underneath layers are now very wet again because of all the glue. So it's a matter of just waiting now. And then I'll go over it tomorrow um, with fix up any patches that have come off. And I'll also put the last coat on and see how we go from there. All right, see you at the next. Okay, I'm back. It's been over half a day um, since I've had this done um, oh look there's a face um, it's dry otherwise I wouldn't be putting it on my bed you can see there it's fairly dry you can see in the middle there sort of that the glue on the inside is pretty much dry um, what I'm going to do now is one more layer off the top because you can still see a fair bit of the cardboard. And then uh, once that's all dry, I'll pop the balloon and we'll go from there. I'll see you on the... Okay, it's been over a day. It's all dry. Um, I'm doing this in the bath just in case anything goes wrong and pieces fall off. So excuse the loud noise. black line stayed. I didn't expect that. Okay, you can see it's all still bluey inside. So let's take that out. Now, I don't actually mind, but you can, I don't know if you can see that properly. It's not actually sitting straight. It's actually sitting on a bit of a curve. 
but I actually, I actually don't mind. The black line stayed, which surprised me. I didn't expect that, but that's okay. So now I can sit it like that and let it dry for a little bit longer. Okay, so you can see. Okay, that's flat on there. Now it's a bit hard to tell, but if I put it straight like that, you'll see it doesn't sit. The flat part is accidentally a bit forward. But I don't actually mind that. That looks pretty good. I am pretty happy with that, and I think it will do the job what I wanted. I want to put my yarn or wool in there while I'm crocheting so it doesn't go everywhere. So once that's all dry properly, because it is still a bit wet down there, uh, that'll be that'll be good. All right? See you at the